If you want to run a trailer with me over to Vegas, we'll spend the night there, make a quick trip out of it, and make it home the next day, you're at the right spot. Not a great sign. First load for Amazon in probably like a week. And I uh, get down here leaving, it says, you know, download BOL, that little screen it usually comes to, and it's just totally hung up on that screen. It says, uh, unable to download BOL, request trip support, and just sitting here waiting. But I, I mean, it's just, uh, I should have anticipated this. I should have. I mean, here I am, I'm ready to go to Vegas, and uh, <laughs> no BOL. I'm sitting here waiting on a callback so I can leave the yard at Sand 3. Here they are. Stay on the line after the call for a two-question survey. Thank you. Hello. Hi, uh, this is Amazon. I'll see if you're going to call back. I'll be right heading in. Sam, Kilo, Bank, Bernie. I'll speak with the driver or the dispatch. Uh, it's one and the same. I, I, have, I kind of self-dispatch myself. I am both the driver and the dispatch. So I'm kind of hung up down here at Sand 3. It's telling me, yeah, I just, I tried, um, it's telling me there's a BOL download error and then it gets to this screen where it says, make sure you're connected to the internet. I am, I've hit retry probably 30 times and it, uh, it just still says download error. When I hit the use paper, let's just see if it'll, oh, you know what? There it goes. I, I, so I uninstalled the app, I reinstalled the app, I have it running again, and it, it's finally giving my exit code. Uh, since this is going out of state, it's going over to Nevada, is there a way to get a copy of the BOL uh, sent to me? Because I checked at the guard shack, and they don't have a paper copy. Sometimes they do, they don't today. Um, I can put in a case to see if we can have that sent to your email. That'd be great. Uh, you know, all about five, real quick, that's, that's fine, I appreciate your help. We want to thank you for your continued All right, so just finished up. This is where I'm shutting it down here tonight, out here at the Maverick about 15 miles north of Vegas. I was kind of hoping to show you the, uh, the sexy side of Vegas. This is unfortunately just gonna be the, uh, the industrial, non-sexy, uh, hopefully parked in a safe place and you know eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich in the back of the truck and just be damn happy I have that. But uh, yeah, this isn't, this isn't the exciting part of Vegas I thought I was coming to. Uh, most of that stuff I don't think I can get the truck down to, but just finished up that last leg of the trip. Uh, this was a three-part tour with Amazon, started in Otai, Brought a loaded trailer over here. 25,000 pound loaded trailer, actually. It's a little bit heavy for Amazon. I, mean, I know you guys who haul 45,000 pounds, you probably laugh at that, but uh, yeah, typical Amazon loaded trailer is about like 10, maybe 12,000 pounds. So the fact that this one was 25 was kind of like, whoa. But uh, anyway, not a big deal. Brought a loaded trailer over here, and then the last leg of it was taking a empty uh from the side i dropped the loaded one off at down to another facility like a mile away so got that all done i've never been more happy in my life to see that work queue say there's no upcoming work there's no loads i swear there was an issue with every leg of this trip if you're new to amazon if you're thinking about working for them definitely check out like all the little hiccups and stuff that can go wrong i've started it down at sand three got there Got the trailer all hooked up, safety inspected it, really, I mean, really did a thorough, anytime I'm going over, I mean, I'll always do a thorough safety inspection, but if I'm going over state lines, I want to be sure that, like, everything's there. I know one of the things I'm supposed to have is a BOL, and uh, with Sand 3, didn't have the BOL, app got hung up on that, had to call ROC saying, like, hey, there's, there's, no BOL, what am I supposed to do? This is going across the state, it's loaded. I, you know, and they're like, oh, the other truck's just left with it. And it's like, yeah, I, I could be wrong on this. And if I'm wrong and I don't need a BOL, please let me know in the comments. But I'm, I'm operating under the, under the assumption that if I have a loaded trailer on my back, I need a BOL for that. So that wasted about 25, 30 minutes calling ROC. 
finally got that straightened out. I swear last time I came to Vegas, there was, they gave me more time to work with. Like I swear last time I got like three, four hours ahead of time. This time after the little BOL thing, I got, I got rolling and I had like a 30 minute window. And every time I hit traffic, I was like, man, this is, I'm gonna be late. I'm for sure gonna be late. I know they say they'll cover traffic, but it's like, I don't wanna have to do the performance dispute on that. And anyway, so God, go, God coming over here with the, uh, with the trailer, 30 minutes to spare, ended up making it on time. Uh, at the place I was supposed to swap out the loaded for the empty, what was the issue there? They're like, oh yeah, head over to, I think it was like slip 503. And so I go to 503, no trailer. Now, you know, me being the little Amazon detective, I start rolling through all the 500s thinking like, okay, the trailer number's gotta be here. It's not, I go check in with the guard shack. I'm like, hey, the trailer's not here. They're like, oh, we just put it at a dock door. Great, what should I do? Call ROC, call ROC. ROC says like, oh, you need to go back to the guard shack and have them unhook the trailer from your V-RID or something and then we can work with it. And I go back to the guard shack and you know, I'm, I'm just, at this point, I'm just a parrot. I'm just saying like, well, they told me to do this. Well, they told me to do that. And uh, I get over there, they, uh, they, they're they like, oh, we are gonna unhook it, but we're gonna give you this trailer. So then like, I'm looking for a spot like somewhere in the 700s and I go there, sure enough, the trailer's not there. And this time I drive around the whole yard looking for the uh, big truck going by. I picked a poor place to do this. Um, yeah, I, I, I just look around the whole yard. It was like in the 900s. These facilities here are huge. Uh, I'm used to like, in San Diego, we've got kind of like San 5, San 3. Those are the big guys. I've been to some big facilities up in Ontario. These places are huge. I mean, I'm talking three of the biggest Amazon facilities I've ever seen over here in Vegas. And they're just like right next to one another, like business as usual. I did check in. I always like to ask like the Amazon employees that are working there as like the shuttle hostlers. I'm like, hey, do you guys ever use like third party drivers over here? I just kind of like to get a feel for that. And they looked at me like I didn't know what I was talking. They're like, like I, like I didn't know what I was talking about. They're like, what do you mean? There's no, uh, they don't, no, we don't use third party hostler drivers. And I was like, oh, okay. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. And then finally, last stop, I get checked in. It's one of those places where you don't talk to a person. They just, uh, you pull up and the gate just opens. And the problem with that is nothing comes up on the screen. Nothing comes up on the app of telling me where to put it. It's like, can I just put this trailer anywhere I want? And so I pull off to the side, I go up to the guard shack and I'm like, I'm here, where would you like it? So got it all straightened out. I am getting ready to maybe do a relay rates like Vegas edition. I'm kind of debating on that. I'm a little bit tired, but needless to say, I'm getting ready to shut it down and just go to sleep in the truck and head back home tomorrow. Man, I feel like I slept in my clothes. I'd be a terrible OTR driver. I, I mean, I thought of everything, the cameras, the headache medicine, just everything. Didn't bring a change of clothes though. I mean, what kind of buffoon? Uh, I'm covered in dog hair. You might be wondering where Lou's at. He's uh, he's not with me on this trip. The family was all off. I figured he'd be better served, you know, staying at home with the three of them to take care of rather than just sitting with me bored all day in the truck. But uh, yeah, he's just at home. He'll probably be with me on the next one. I'm having one of those every tool in the tool belt moments. Uh, you know, got up early, planned on going back home. Uh, you know, it came over here for like three dollars and change a mile. I mean, I've, I've run Vegas for more, but this this whole trip was just to kind of meet the requirements of those IFTA people. I needed to take a interstate trip. The problem with what I've been doing, I set this trucky thing up as interstate, and I've been staying in California. And so the problem with that is you do that for a year. IFTA wants to kick you out, so it, you know, at first I was considering going intrastate, which is like, hey, I can get rid of the ELD, just stay local all the time, but the problem is, if you look at the fine details of, like, what Amazon requires, uh, again, not that I'm trying to gear my business around towards Amazon, but historically I've done a lot of work with them, I'm working for them right now, uh, they require interstate. Now, would they let you sneak into the program if you were intrastate? Maybe, but that's not a, that's not an ask I want to have to ask for. So, eating McDonald's, had my little egg McMuffin, uh, decided, I mean, I was, I was just gonna bobtail home, which was gonna make this trip like a lot less profitable, but I need to be at home uh, by, by Monday to take the kids to school. My wife, her schedule this week, I, I have to take the kids to school. So I was planning on going back, just, you know, I was, I was excited that I just, I'm, I met the requirement of going out of state. And uh, anyway, looked at that load board one last time, nothing, got on spot capacity, and sure enough, there's a trailer recovery needed up in Baker. They're paying $9.50 for me to run from Vegas up to Baker, pick up that trailer, and then I gotta run it down, uh, run it back to Vegas. So, excited.
excited about that. I mean, that kind of turns this into being like a, uh, I'm just doing this just for the heck of it to now. This is actually going to turn into a semi-profitable trip. So heading up to Baker now, going to go pick that trailer up. I'll say this about these trailer recoveries. Be sure if you choose to do one and you've got the person from the spot capacity on the phone uh, telling you where the trailer's at, be sure that they send you over the GPS coordinates of the trailer. Uh, they can send it to you like through Chime, they can put it in the load notes, they can email it to you, but just keep in mind like when they say Baker, it's a big desert. You know, you're, you're basically tracking this trailer down to wherever the last truck brought it to, whether they, you know, hours of service, whether they broke down, you want to know exactly where that trailer's at, so just be sure you got those GPS coordinates. Let's go get this trailer. trailer recovery it came from uh, Baker it's a uh, full load ID is 112 C is in cat J is in Jack Larry Larry 6 V is in Victor thank you so much for that and that's I'm gonna repeat 112 C is in cat J is in Jack L is in Larry L is in Larry the number 6 and V is in Victor yes that's what shows up on my screen alrighty and that is for LAS 6 uh, no, this says it's for ABS4. Am I at the okay, wrong... Okay, so you're at LA... Yeah, you're at LAS6. Okay, uh, how... Th th this is where it directed me to. Where, where is ABS4? Am I close to that? Give me one moment and I'll get that address for you, okay? Thank you. B is in Victor, S is in Sam 4? Uh, B is in boy, S is in Sam 4, yes. Alpha, Beta, Sam 4. Is there any chance that they redirected it here? Because this was a, the, I picked this up on the side of the road. It was a trailer recovery and it's where the, I followed the Amazon GPS the whole way here. And when I when I uh, got here, it said arrival successfully detected, like it normally does. Uh, what I can do is send you in a problem solve. That's what I'll do. They'll take a look at your paperwork, 
and then they'll be able to assist you because I'm not on site. Okay. But they are, so let's do that, okay? Okay. Should I pull in, or should I go see the people at the guard shack? I'm going to send you to a parking slip, and someone's going to come out to assist you. Okay. So just wait at that parking slip? Yes. Okay. It's weird, when I look up on Google Maps, ABS4, I don't see a, I mean, usually when you type in like a little Amazon code into Google. Yeah, I don't see, we don't even have that. That's why I was getting ready to say it pulls up all of our sites. We don't even have that site. It may be one that's not, hasn't been um, launched yet. Okay. Um, it's not fully open, so that could be so. I'm not sure, and we could be holding it here. So I'm gonna send you inside so that they can tell you what you need to do, okay? Okay. Driver, you're going to go to wall space 134. Okay. Again, that's going to be wall space 134. Someone's going to come out to assist you, okay? And they'll take a look at your paperwork um, and let you know, or your uh, your app, whichever one you have, and let you know where you're supposed to be, okay? Okay, perfect. So 134. Yes, sir. Right. Wall space 134. I appreciate Start it. Stay safe and have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. This has been like... I mean, a profitable weekend, yeah, but it's just been a catastrophe from, you know, the no BOL at the first site, not knowing where to send me at the second site, uh, or I'm sorry, not having a trailer at the second site, having me go track it down, uh, not knowing where to send me at the third site, and then I thought I'd be done until I saw this, uh, until I saw this trailer recovery, and, you know, turns the weekend into a little bit more profitable, but then the, the trailer recovery place ends up sending me to the wrong location followed gps to a t and just ended up at the wrong spot this is for sure gonna be it it's kind of funny on that trailer recovery thing the uh the gentleman i picked it up from he wasn't broken down there was no mechanical problem he was just out of hours of service the same thing happened to him and his bol and when it was just me and i was sitting there thinking like you know i still identify as new at this like i'm thinking i don't really want to throw my weight around but i'm pretty confident i need a bol and uh, same thing with him. He didn't have a BOL. I kind of confirmed with him, like, we absolutely have to have a BOL, especially, especially if going over state lines. And that put him three hours behind in his start time. He ran out of hours of service. So that's why they had to send somebody else, me, to go uh, do that trailer recovery. But this is where I'm going to end it. I'm getting ready to go into a place called Terribles and uh, get a little drink. I got enough hours of service to make it home so I can take those kids to school tomorrow. I'm going to put a breakdown of the weekend. This isn't a typical Amazon weekend in 2024. This is definitely an outlier, so keep that in mind. But uh, I'll break down all the numbers down to the dollar and everything and kind of give you a rough estimate of what I made. Appreciate you for watching. As always, I hope this video serves you well. Take care.